This is lecture 17, part E in network theory. In this lecture, we are going to solve some problems on maximum power transfer theorem. Now, this is the question for the AC power, AC sources and the complex uh, impedances. Find maximum power dissipation in the load impedance. Now, JDL can be complex and uh, the first case is JDL is complex in nature and uh, JDL is purely resistive in nature. Now, to solve this type of question, so first we need to find the the Thevenin equivalent model. Remember, whenever the AC source is given, they will give the this uh, RMS value and the angle. So generally, uh, always remember whenever some V is given. So this is Vm angle zero degree, or if V is equal to Vm cos omega t plus theta, right? So this can be represented like this: some Vm angle theta same so this is for theta equal to 0 means vm angle 0 will come similarly suppose v is equal to vm sin omega t plus theta suppose so this can this can be replaced by vm angle theta minus 90 degree always remember if it is sin we will get theta minus 90 if it is a cos we will get directly theta now how to solve this one <coughs> now so to solve this one we will open here and we will place some VTH and ZTH right so how to find VTH simply I will apply the neural analysis concept so there is some notation is not given so always plus minus so here plus minus is given so by nodal analysis VTH minus 90 angle 0 by 6 plus J8 plus VTH minus 110 angle 0 by 6 plus J8 equal to 0. Now if you see this one, LCM is same, so I can get 2VTH is equal to 110, so it is 200 angle 0 degree. So what is VTH? VTH is nothing but 100 angle 0 degrees. Right, so this is VTH. Now find to find ZTH, so this will be short circuit this will be short circuit because the voltage sources now if I look here two resistance are in I mean impedances are in parallel so ZTH will be 6 plus J8 parallel with 6 plus J8 right so Z, Z parallel Z means we will get Z by 2 that is 6 plus J8 by 2 so it is 3 plus J4 now if I replace the circuit by this uh, Thevenin equivalent model, so I will get like this, right? So plus minus or VTH, which is 100 angle 0 degree, and this is ZTH, that is 3 plus J4, and here the ZL. Now, when ZL is complex, so to deliver maximum power, so ZL should be ZTH conjugate that means it should be 3 minus j4 right when 3 minus j4 what is the maximum power deliver so we need to find so to find the maximum power first we will find the current il now what is il il is equal to 100 angle 0 by 3 plus j4 minus 3 minus j4 so we will get 3 plus 3 6 so 100 angle i mean 100 by 6 angle 0 this is current il now to find maximum power pl so il square into r so here r is 3 so il means 100 by 100 by 6 whole square into 3 so remember whenever we are uh, uh, using the complex values right so which is having a, a real part as well as imaginary part so so this is generally im so we'll use im directly so 100 by 6 whole square or we can say 50 by 3 whole square into 3 so 1 3 will be cancelled 1 3 will be cancelled so 50 into 50 by 3 so this is the load power in watts so I think 2500 by 3 watts is the maximum power delivered to the load now case 2 right if ZL is purely resistive right so what is the condition so we know that if ZL is purely resistive so RL should be R 
एस स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स एस स्क्वायर सो वाट इज आर एस स्क्वायर दैट इज नाइन प्लस सिक्सटीन सो रूट ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट मीन्स फाइव ओम्स राइट नो अगेन टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम पावर सो वाट इज आई एल आई एल इज इक्वल टू डी वी टी एच हंड्रेड एंगल जीरो बाई द टोटल इम्पिडेंस दैट इज थ्री प्लस जे फोर प्लस फाइव राइट इट इज हंड्रेड एंगल जीरो बाई एट प्लस J4. Now to find the IL in uh, the maximum value, so we need to do go for the complex conjugate 100 angle 0 into 8 minus J4 by 8 plus J4 into 8 minus J4. So 64 plus 16 we will get right. So again it will be uh, convert into polar form right. So we will get the IL as So it is hundred angle zero by this is eighty and here we'll get root of eight square that is sixty four plus again sixteen tan inverse minus four by eight. So anyway we need only this one. So hundred ang hundred angle zero by root eight is the I M value. Now what is the power dissipation? The power dissipation is nothing but P L is equal to I M square into R, right? So again, hundred square by eighty into R is we got five. So by six, so hundred square by sixteen watts is the maximum power will be delivered. Now don't uh, worry. So we are not getting the this complex uh, impedances or uh, this hundred angle zero will be given and find the power because so using virtual calc it is somewhat difficult. But we can do like this. by complex conjugate method right so that is about one problem next we'll see this is the two problems we will see now this is a uh, one more question from the maximum power transfer theorem the value of il that maximizes the power absorbed by the constant current load il so this is a constant current load is given now how to solve this type of question so we need to see the basics of the the maximum so if i know the voltage vl here and i can find the load power pl so which is vl into il now in terms of il we need to find the condition so vl also should be in terms of il so if you write the kvl here vs can be written vs is equal to il into r see this current in this loop the current is same so il into r Plus V L across the current source. Now from this V L is equal to V S minus I L into R. If I substitute here, what I will get? V S minus I L into R into I L. So what is the P L? V S into I L minus I L square into R. Now we need to find the maximum power across load with respect to I L. So differentiate the load power. With respect to I L, so I will get V S minus two I L into R. Now to find the maximum or minimum, we need to equate the zero. So what is here? So I L is equal to V S by two R. So this is the I L current which will maximize the power through this current load, right? You see one more question from the maximum power transfer theorem. so what resistor should be connected between a and b that will absorb maximum power from the network and what is that power see across this terminal we need to find the the resistance which should be connected so always find the vth and rth now to find vth apply the nodal analysis so here vth will be there so across the parallelly voltages will be same If I apply nodal analysis at this outer uh, outer side, so V T H minus this voltage source is which is dependent so on V naught and V naught is here. So V T H minus of minus, so it will become plus one twenty V naught by the resistance ten kilo plus V T H by forty kilo equal to zero. So anyway, this current is zero. So if I take a uh, LCM, this is forty k. So four V T H plus one twenty times of four that is four eighty V naught plus V T H equal to zero. So it is five V T H is equal to minus four eighty V naught equation one. 
right now to find v naught if you see this in, uh, input side so there is a two resistances and uh, we can apply the voltage division rule so from the input side v naught is equal to 8 volt is the main source into across 1 kilo by the total resistance 4 kilo so i'll get 2 volts now if i replace here so minus 480 into 2 by 5 is nothing but vth so it is 5 9 45 and 6 so it is minus 192 volts right vth is minus 192 volts now to find rth what we need to do so there is a dependent uh, voltage source so we need to apply test voltage and test current so when i am applying the test voltage under test current i need to make the independent source as short circuit the moment it is short circuit v naught will become zero because there is no source at all the moment v naught is becoming zero what is this it will become short circuit now if you see this vt and it only sees these two resistances in parallel so directly rth is nothing but 10k parallel 40k so i'll get as 8 kilo ohms now i will replace the entire circuit by minus plus 192 volts see we got my mi minus 192 so i have written like this and <coughs> sorry rth we got 8 kilo ohms so so what should be rl now according to maximum power transfer theorem so rl should be rs so it should also be 8 kilo ohms now to uh, find the maximum power so we know vth square by 4 rl is the formula so 192 minus 192 square by 4 into 8 kilo so what we will get 1.152 watts is the power at the load right so this is about the maximum power transfer theorem questions we'll see one more question but it is from the re reciprocity theorem when the given network satisfies the reciprocity theorem find the value of i here now what is the reciprocity theorem right so first see whenever there is resistance is given always we will find the either thevenin or not on because this is a open circuit voltage is given now we will find the thevenin's thevenin's equivalent circuit so to find vth right now from this two i can find the vth open circuit voltage see response by excitation is always constant that means v1 by i1 right is equal to v2 by i2 right so what is v1 so given 4 i1 is given 5 and v2 we need to find that is vth and i2 is 8 ampere so what is vth vth is equal to 8 force 32 by 5 volts is the thevenin's voltage similarly to find rth across this that is here this is the network and this is the 8 ampere so generally whenever we are finding it will be open circuit so here we need to find so if you see this circuit so this is 5 ampere and this is 10 volts so rth directly 10 by 5 which is 2 ohms now we got our vth and rth now we will find the current through this 4 ohm resistance that is so this is 4 ohms resistance and it is i and here we got rth which is 2 ohms and vth as 32 by 5 volts now what is this current i it's nothing but 32 by 5 volt by the total resistance 6 right so it is 32 by 30 ampere is the current we need to find right so this is the reciprocity theorem we are using so in this we are finding the Thevenin equivalent model so to find vth so by comparing these two the response and the excitation right so here always i told see always it is v by i or i by v so here v by i that is 4 by 5 ampere i have taken and here 
VTH that is at this we need to find the VTH so VTH by 8 so we get VTH now to find RTH always we will use this first network so where we are finding here so 10 by 5 ampere is 2 ohms that is RTH then we can find the current RTH.